you can get a long way in your career. And I would say that that's a strategy that a minority of men preferentially do. That that's all they do. They work like 70, 80 hours a week. They go flat out on their career. They're staking everything on the small probability of exceptional status in a narrow domain. But it's, it's hard on them. They don't have a life. It's very difficult for them to have a family. They don't know how to take any leisure activity. Like they get very one dimension. Now, it may be that that unidimensionality is the price you have to pay to be exceptional at one thing, right? Because if you're gonna be something like a genius level mathematician and you wanna do that for, or a scientist say, it's like you're in your lab, you're in your lab all the time, you're working 70 hours a week or 80 hours a week, you're smart, you're dedicated, you're unidimensional, and that's how you get to beat all the other people who are doing that. It's the only way. But the problem is you don't get a life. Now, if you love being a scientist and you have that kind of focus of mind, well, first of all, you're a rare person, and second, you're gonna pay for it. But fine, more power to you. But it's a risky business to do that. You sacrifice a lot for it. Are we just the little fishes? Abandoning ourselves to the waves to sing and dance and play. Is that what we're doing? And I'm not saying don't have fun. I'm not saying don't sing and dance and play. Enjoy life, of course, and relish the joy of life. But I think you have to make sure you don't dance your life away. Never stray from the way. And I think that that's what this is about. All the fun and the singing and the dancing and all the play, it's okay. But all those things can be distractions. Because there is a path. There is a way. And you know what that way is. You know what you should be doing. And it's hard to stay on that path because it is the path of discipline and discomfort, but it is the right path.